Rupert's a Noise Bird, and we are back with another streamy stream here, Twitch. Here, Twitch? Here, live on twitch.tv slash my games gone sleep mode. <laughs> slash annoyed bird. How are we doing? Crabs is here. How you doing, bud? We are playing some more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, but we specifically are playing Violet. Today we're gonna blast through some of the story stuff. Because I think it's about damn time. Um I have not done a single story thing since we last played. So, I have not been able to put this game down since it came out. And, uh, I've needed things to do. For the first time ever, I decided to try and work towards the Pokedex before finishing the game. And, um, yeah. Um, I've nearly finished it. I, I had no sleep. And it's just been purely Pokemon Scarlet. Violet. No, you're gonna touch grass. You're gonna touch grass. <laughs> I have literally done nothing, but it, it's been so painful because the raids that I've had to do have all been like two and three star. So I have been leveling everything up with medium candies and stuff like that. It is fucking. Ah, uh, it has been so much work, but we are here and pretty much done. All we need is the last member of our team, and which we will hopefully be getting today. Uh, we also need the paradox forms of my game, and uh, luckily, sit down to game, traded me and traded back all of the, his paradox forms. So yes, we basically have a little bit of the Pokedex left to do, and we are only on badge number four for the gyms. <laughs> it's been insane. I've been trying to level everything up, and I've been catching new Pokemon and stuff, and it's literally been like... Oh, they won't obey you. They won't listen to you. So half of my party actually can't listen to me. So, I haven't even been using this team at all because I didn't want them to overlevel them. And we've already been overleveled as it is. So, we are going to be checking out the team. First up, we have Black Knight, the Cerule Edge. Then followed by... <gasps> Chunkbunk, our favorite member, our pseudo starter, our Tinkerton named Chunkbunk. Then we have what we call last stream, right at the end, one of our new teammates named after Deadshot is our Veluza. I love this Pokemon so much, it's so fast. Then we have our starter, which we renamed to Twisted because it's like Twisted Fate, you know, and it's a bit, you know, Twisted Dark type. Eh, it makes sense. But that is our Meow Scarada. Now, there is one more addition I added to the team because I kind of forgot what we used and I was I was like, I might need to move things around with the member above it because that's definitely going on our team today. So some things have had to change around a bit. Yeah, I did a video on YouTube um, basically showing everyone how to evolve your primate into an Annihilate. So I thought, why not show it off? And I named it Phasmophobia after Alex because Alex had a Pokemon named after him called Gort. But I know how much he loves Phasmophobia, so I called it Phasmophobia. And the best part that I haven't shown you guys yet is this. Is that shiny? Wait, why is it so... Is it dark? Because of normal? <gasps> it's a shiny! It's a... Oh! It's a Tatsugiri shiny! I was like, is it dark, darker than normal? But uh, it is! It's a Tatsugiri shiny! It's, sh I was told it's shiny was white, but no, it's like a brown on the top. Oh my God. We got a shiny Tatsugiri. Holy crap. Okay, I'm just gonna throw balls at it. Oh my God. Our look in this game is insane. Please just catch. That was a critical. Oh my. This is our first shiny team member. We found a shiny Tatsugiri and I named it Onigiri and I fucking love it. It's such a baby. I love it so much. But the plan for today is we are going to blast some gyms. Maybe the first, the third, the fifth and final Titan. It's just a baby, <laughs> little baby. <laughs> yes, we're going to finish our fifth and final Titan. And then we have all of the Maridon abilities unlocked. Get some gyms out of the way. So we're at least having decent fights instead of cakewalk in the place. And also trying to take on some of the star stuff. I don't think we're going to finish the game today because we do have a lot of stuff to go through. 
But hopefully we can at least get a sizable chunk. So maybe the next stream or the stream after that may be even the end of Scarlet and Violet. But honestly, I am loving these games so much. We are here and about to take on our fifth gym, which I believe is normal type. I've been waiting for the story for ages. I've been sad all week. Like, can we start yet? Can we start yet? Can we start yet? Oh, Nimona. Hey, Noivan! Larry! <laughs> I saw you were going into the gym and I came running. Listen, I'm really sorry I couldn't battle you last time we ran into each other. Wait, don't get me wrong. I didn't chase you down just to battle you. Then again, I guess I wouldn't mind a battle or anything. If you wanted to. What do you say? Let's do this. Let's show off our new team and our brand new shiny boy. Yes, battle time. You and me. Annoy then. Wait, hold on. I want to be sure to pick the right Pokemon uh, where you're at in the journey. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Does she scale to where I am? That's pretty cool. Sorry, give me a sec to find to my team, then we can battle. In fact, while you're waiting, go ahead and take on the gym. Oh, wait. Oh, cool. Okay, so she's getting a team ready, scaled for us after we take on the gym. And then, then we will be here. So, let's take on the normal gym. I'm guessing this is the building. Ah, the famed treasure eatery. Yes, that would be the one. Uh, you have to do the food, size, and sauce. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Is it you? Do we speak to you? You're one of the gym leaders. I uh, gym leaders? You're one of the gym challengers. I hope you're able to figure out our special secret menu. Gym test! And how cooked it is. Oh, okay. Okay, okay let's go. Right. Now, tell me, what will you be ordering? Rice balls. What size will we be having? Mm, see, see, I... When I, when I get... So, okay, so I went to a really, really nice Japanese restaurant in, in where I live the other day. Also, JT, I'll message you where it is because it's phenomenal. Um, and they, they, they had food that I was like, I'm going to get the big size and it was just too much. So I'm going to go medium. That's my life. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know, real, real, you know, eatery. It looks like a Japanese restaurant. I'm saying it's Japanese food. I had a massive fuck off bowl of ramen and just hit my hand and it really hurt. And the bowl was slightly too big for me. I had to leave some bits at the bottom and I was there just like, Argh. you know, like an anime where they sit there. They're really like, <laughs> that's how I felt the other day. How do you like that cooked? Um, uh, lightly charged, ember style, fire blast or well cooked. Fire blast. Poofed. <laughs> Oh, man. Anything garnished on your order? Uh, cheese, pa cheese and rice. Cheese and lemon. I guess if it's fish. Sounds pretty awesome. It was, honestly. I had tempura fried salmon sushi rolls. It was so good. It was so, so good. We do not care. Uh, lemon. Medium serve. Serving grilled rice balls. Fire blast style with fresh lemon on the side. This is where it's good, right? Everything about that is cursed! <laughs> gotcha! Medium rice balls, extra crispy, and lemon! Okay. What do we do? Rumble, rumble! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> did, I, did I get a first try? No, right? No, I could have got it. I couldn't have literally have, have based my, my, my going out for meal the other day on what this answer was. There's no fucking way. <laughs> Nailed it. Rumble, rumble. Did I actually get it right? If I accidentally messed up the gym challenge or something. Rigged. <laughs> well, you wouldn't put cheese with rice, would you? So that was my excuse for the, that one. I chose fire blast because it's the highest damaging move. And it sounded most exciting. And I picked rice balls because I like onigiri. And, you know, one of our members is called onigiri. And another term for rice balls is onigiri. So it made sense in my head. No way did I get it. You now have the right to challenge the gym leader. Please come. Although, if it was up to me, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have chose lemon. I would have chose like sriracha or like chili flakes. But the only option was, you know, lemon, cheese, or nothing. Who puts cheese and rice? <laughs> you like balls? Hey yo! <laughs> Sweet gym test complete. That was quick. <laughs> I think that was easier than the other one. You know, the like the the olive roll one. Wait, I'm ready to go. Right? I'm ready to go. Can I fight him? I want to try out my uh, Annihilate. Well, Phasmophobia, sorry. 
Uh, do you want to face the exceptional everyman himself? <laughs> everyman. What? Yeah, why not? Let's beat the gym leader. In that case, please head onto the battle court. Larry! I'm guessing, yeah, I'm gonna say Larry's the only one that's not like rigid. Like, I'm having ramen! Ha! Ha! Ramen! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm Larry. I'm assigned to work at the gym leader in my dolly gym. Good job on making your way through the gym test. And well, maybe try the other dishes on the menu too sometime. Everything's good here. <laughs> anyway, my oh. boss. Oh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit chatting. Let's get this battle over with. <laughs> I didn't want to make him so monotone, but he looks like he's half asleep. Okay, here it is, gym number five. Thank you for doing business with us today. I, Larry, will be at your service. <laughs> oh, the briefcase is down! The tie is up! Discord is calling! It's not, it's just crabs! <laughs> you are challenged by Gym Leader Larry! Okay, what do we have? A Kamala! Okay. Okay, interesting. I don't even know Kamala's abilities and stuff, but... I just ate, so let's not go too hard. <laughs> He's like me. He gets food. He gets food drunk. Um. Okay, we have nothing for this, and we're starting to be more even leveled. Okay, I like it. <laughs> I like it, Picasso. Um, we are gonna show off phasmophobia. I think. Get some fighting type moves in. Beat him up a little bit. Time to punch a koala with phasmophobia. Yes. Personally, one of my favorite poke and I'm asleep. <laughs> Personally, one of my new favorite Pokemon from this generation, and also probably my favorite, uh, one of my favorite new forms, uh, new evolutions. Sorry, Phasmophobia took a big chunk. Cross you up. And it's down. I'm not even worried. Why am I even worried? I'm not even worried. Oh god, I've been clipped. I've been clipped. Is this the balls thing again? <laughs> it's been two minutes. That's what she said. <laughs> but. For now, let's show him off, even though he won't listen to me. Here he is, Onigiri! Wow! Sparkle! <laughs> He's sunk into the floor, I don't know why! <laughs> but there he is. Oh, and a long boy versus... Oh, he looks... He looks angry. That is what angry sushi! <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're going to Dragon Pulse, and he probably won't listen to me. Oh, he did! Okay, we shouldn't be able to... Okay, so he, he doesn't have obedience yet, so unfortunately it's a case of he may listen, he may not listen. But is this guy all about status conditions? They've been paralyzed, they've been slept, I doubt I'm going to be poisoned. Hyperdrill, okay, that might hurt, but we are over leveled. Oh, he weak. His power seems good though. Yeah, I think he's a very, very glass cannon. Oh, Onigiri! I know you're over leveled, but my boy! I love him, I love him. I'm really debating whether to use him on the team permanently, but it's tricky because if I keep him on the team, then I'm going to have to get rid of Phasmophobia, which is already double up in types, and then the last member I'm intending to get will double up twice over on types. So it's a bit like, oh, Onigiri's sweeping potential, possibly, but he is like level 50, so I don't really want to use him. We could try Deadshot. He might not listen to us. Deadshot's not had a battle yet. Let's try Deadshot. Come on out, Deadshot. Show us how it's done. Where you completely ignore me. Because every single time, bar one, that I've tried to use this in battle, it's just turned away and ignored me. Or fallen asleep. But Veluza is so cool. This is still better than getting cornered by my boss. <laughs> Sent out Staraptor. Is this his ace? Is he going to terrestrialize it into a normal type or something? Intimidate. <gasps> I've been intimidated. You intimidated fish! Okay, uh, we don't really have anything for you. I mean, we could just terrestrialize, because he's gonna terrestrialize now. Uh, terrestrialize... Psychic Fangs. Because I found... He had, he had a, a special attack, 
but <laughs> Joel memes incoming. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, I realized he's a physical attacker as opposed to a special attacker. So, he got psychic fags. Yeah, angry chump boy. You're pretty good. I might end up losing this. Any anything else? He just goes down there for it. Oh. Go away! Stop it up a notch! Oh, I didn't realize it was a woman. I'm committing anyway. We've got hungry customers waiting! Give us something to cheer them out! Woo! Yeah, oh, there are actually people coming now. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Go and Roy Fern, right? <laughs> right? Oh. Show us what you got, Larry! Are you too good? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you heard it, good old folks. I suppose I could put on a bit more of a show. <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine him just like a bit more of a show. <laughs> just try to crack a smile. It's the battle of the terrestrialize. He's got a big gem on his head. I, I don't like the normal terrestrialite type. It looks weird. Don't shot you, shaggy fangs. It did half. It did more than half. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Here we go. It's time to do, do something. Facade. Ooh. Okay, that would do a lot more if we had the status effect on. So that's probably going to be swapped out, to be fair. We've got no more glares or sleep on. So we will finish it off with a really overleveled Psychic Fangs! Psychic Fang! Yeah! Gym 5 down! Oh, man. I still like the fact that I've got this far in the game. And I've pretty much done everything else. And so now all I have to do is worry about having a good time with the story. And that is it. Jim, five down. Bye-bye, Larry. You certainly threw me through a loop. You defeated Jim Leader Larry because he sucks trash. Nice. Oh, man. The hype. You're rather strong, aren't you? Enough to bring out my poker face, even. I lost. So that means I have to give you a badge. But... Okay, that was his stomach. I didn't know why he had like a zoom in on his crotch. I was like, hey, yo! <laughs> the battle made me a bit hungry. Care to join me for a meal? Yes! Yes, I will! We're eating on a Geary! Wait, no, not my, no, my shiny. See, I've got a shiny on a Geary. He's just eating regular on a Geary, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, having five gym badges in hand makes it easier to catch Pokemon up to level 45. Oh. They'll actually listen to you too. <laughs> I like this guy. He's just sort of like, he's so done with his day, but he's still he's still enjoying it. The dish is here. They've all got flavor, good flavor, I mean. Oh, don't worry about the bill. I do earn a salary after all. Oh, okay, <laughs> so he's not just working for food. That's fine then. Now I better get back to work if you'll excuse me. Oh, he's just he's just he's just an everyday guy. He just really likes food, and he was like, Do you know what? This is my favorite restaurant. I'm building a gym in here. The question is, though, what happens to all the customers? <laughs>